This is Aiko from Zokso Inc. in Japan. Thank you for this opportunity to let me give a talk. Actually, this is my first talk. I'm a bit nervous, but I'll try my best to speak clearly and slowly. Please let me introduce myself and where I work. I have been working at Zokso Inc. as mainly a customer happiness role for seven years. We provide a telephony platform and our main customers are in Japan. We support domestic PyCons, Django Girls, and overseas PyCons in Asian regions. We also have an annual grant program to give to open source projects to show our respects and acknowledge their hard work and effort. Zokso is our company name. We are a 100% remote company. There is no physical office. The current 13 team members live in seven different countries to work together using online communication tools. The photos shown here is how we did 2020 year-end party online. I have met them in person only a few times at our annual team camps, but I think we get along with each other quite well using those communication tools. Today, as I am not an engineer, I will not be talking anything technical, but I want to share how my quality of life was enriched by working at this tech company. Seven years ago, I made a big decision. It may not be considered as big today, especially in the tech industry, but at that time, to start working from home was a big thing. I was a mother of two children. The younger one was only two years old. I could go out to work, but I chose to work from home to stay close to my children. I had no idea of this to be successful, but lived in. I just wanted to try the way I believe to live happily. But then I had to face the people's eyes around me. Remote work was not so common seven years ago. People thought a work-from-home type of job would not pay enough to support a family. There were, and actually there still is, existing the prejudice. That is, a female sole parent should not live with enough income. They should go out to work for part-time and get less to support their families in pain. So I often was asked and needed to explain what I do to suspicious neighbors, why I live happily. I did not stop working from home though. I found that working from home can save time for community, commuting. And that meant a lot to me. I was very happy to use the time of commuting for children and with children. Commuting does involve time to prepare to go out too. Considering that, the time I could save was actually quite a large amount. Now, seven years has passed since I decided to work from home. I met a few monsters and hurdles to overcome. I struggled with them and learned how to shape myself to fit. At the moment, my life with my children with remote working is quite successful. In seven years, of course, children have grown and their seven years have a significant meaning. They grew up with a work-from-home mother, and a work-from-home mother is a normal for them already. I think they feel easy about I'm staying at home, 
because they can ask for any help, big or small, as I am there beside them. The year of 2020 was a crazy year. Unfortunately, it still goes on. I experienced another big hurdle by a misunderstanding for work from home last year. There were programs to care for the children of working parents during the school closure, but the city council did not let me use it because I was working from home. They categorized me as the same as non-working housewives. Children stayed home with me for two months of the school closure time. I had to care for them and work from home. I was shocked and sad to be treated like that, but my workplace understanding helped me. I knew my productivity was dropped heavily, but could do nothing else other than just tried as best as I could. Although I felt I was excluded from where I lived, I was comfortable to stay working at Tsukso. They included me, even though I wasn't in the same condition as before the pandemic. When the schools reopened, I finally got back to normal. And at the same time, I found a change. Remote working has become a new standard under pandemic. Since then, I felt much easier to let people know what my work is and how I work. The tiny virus has made this planet an enormous sized crisis, but it also influenced this work style change a lot and quickly. The spreading speed could be as fast as the infection spread itself. Now, let me go back to the beginning. For seven years of work from home life, I felt quality in my life. I mean, I am so fulfilled to have the best of both worlds, raising children as close as possible as well as having a worthwhile job at a comfortable place to work. Working at Tsukso, I am just myself. It is not at all necessary to be worried about my backgrounds and the conditions that I have no control. I also work with my teammates the same. I look at them as they are, no bias, just they are. I think this is what we call inclusive and this is naturally how we should be. Although I think my almost half century of life did not show me the working place of this type. I do not know what exactly made us like this, but I just hope we continue to look at each other as comprehensively as we do now. I understand that there are many women who are in pain, difficulties, discomfort, frustration by unawareness and exclusion, even though they challenge them. But here, on International Women's Day, I want to report that here is a woman who made a small challenge to start working from home and luckily she found her happy life with quality of life. The important key for this was inclusiveness. This is all my talk today. Thanks so much for giving me this opportunity again and thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.